She's actually staying on my bed today. That's, uh, that's unusual. <laughs> she usually doesn't, uh, as soon as I take out the microphone and set everything up for a stream, she usually just gets up and just runs away. So, uh, Duchess side host today. How's everyone doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is there everyone, um, everyone doing good? It's, um, fucking crazy times we live in, isn't it? Um, yeah. Greetings from Myanmar. Nice. Myanmar, that's in, um, oh, that borders, um, that's like Vietnam, Cambodia area, right? Yeah. Oh, Briggs just ended his 24-hour stream. Well, good good timing then. Good timing then. I pop in right after Briggs ends up. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, you don't have to. I mean, I I um yesterday uh Pittsburgh, which is the closest like major city to where I live. That's about an hour and a half from here. Uh they had uh their first wave of kind of like, you know, I actually I don't really know if it was like I have to read some more news reports about it. I was watching it yesterday. Yesterday, there were uh, a few cop cars that got burned and uh, a lot of protesters in the streets. Um, haven't looked at the news um, this morning yet to see exactly what the full extensive of the damage was, but that's about as close as uh, that's about as close as it's um, from where I'm at right now. But um, yeah. Oh, and the, yeah, well, you say Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, PPG Arena was, um, also kind of like the, the, the center for this yesterday, uh, and, uh, it, it's crazy, because me and my dad were there, like, right before all this quarantine shit started, we were there, uh, at the, uh, stadium for the first time, I was able to see what it looked like, and, uh, you know, so I know that area, uh, Yeah. Much less, yeah. Uh, made a 50 minute video explaining all the jokes in DBZA. Spent five months, only five, 45 views. Oh, damn. I mean, hey, that, I mean, that's YouTube, man. That happens. I mean, I would say, um, trying to get it out as much as possible. But yeah, uh, that's, that's one common little rule of YouTube, I would say. If, if you're trying to start on the platform, it's, more effort and more work into a video does not necessarily yield a larger view base or audience. You'd think it would be the opposite, right? You'd think like, oh, if I put a week of worth into a video, then it would get more, but that's just not how YouTube is. Um, but yeah, I, um, I don't even know where to start this really. Uh, see, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not very good, I guess, at, uh, you know, if something is really bothering me, I, I'm not really good at telling people about my problems, you know, like, this has been going on for, uh, these protests have been going on, I think this is day six, uh, and I, like, I only, like, I live with my mom, and so I see her every day, and I only really started to talk to her about this yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very, like, it, it, it's bothering me, but I don't really know. Like, oh, I don't want to make other people worry. I mean, like, that's, should I burden other people with my concerns? I just, but, um, last night, you know, we were watching the, uh, the protests and, uh, today I, I woke up and I just felt like I had a stomach ache when I woke up this morning and, uh, I wanted to do, um, I still might do it today, later today, the, um, uh, Reverie, Return to Reverie Chapter 2 that Artor and Gemini made because there's no One Piece chapter today. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do that video, but like right at the moment, like when I woke up, I was just like, oh, I don't even know if I could, you know. But, uh, <laughs> Pet Duchess for us, yeah, she's right here. I just, I remember like when I saw the, the news break from it the day it happened and uh it was being shared and everything and i saw the video as everybody saw the video and uh you know i i started to uh just think about that dude's life you know 
Like, because, like, nobody knew who George Floyd was before this, obviously, like, because he was just, he was just a guy, you know? And uh, when that happened and I saw the video, I just thought to myself of, like, this, like, imagine this guy's life, right? Like, he just lives his life. He's a kid. He goes to school, everything like that. Grows up, you know? He's an adult. And then um, he just decides, I think he was, I think he was going to, like, a diner or a deli. I think it was a deli. And then he's just like, I'm going to go to the deli and get some food. And then, <laughs> dead. And it's like, in a, in a way that no one should ever die. And just like that, yeah, it was hard to watch. There was, um... Uh, remember the, uh... The shooting that happened in New Zealand? Like, last year? Uh... I actually caught that video because obviously as soon as a video like that got like shared around it was like being taken down like all over the place obviously but uh I actually caught a clip of that video before it got taken down and so that was another one that really like like part of me like wishes like I never would have saw that because of how brutal it was but then part of me is like this is this is the real shit that happens in the world. You know what I mean? So you should probably see this to know this is what actually happens. And, and the George Floyd one was the same thing. Um, yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to trying to like, you know, keep it, you know, going here. Are you reading Xenoblade? Are you getting Xenoblade? No, I don't really play the Xenoblade games. I, uh, the only thing I know about that is uh, from Breath of the Wild. In, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a DLC where you can get the Xenoblade outfit, and that was it. Duchess. Yeah, she's being very, she's being very supportive. I don't know. She's a very emotionally supportive puppy today. Good morning. Good morning to you. Stuff like that happens every day. Yep. It does. A poo or a rouge? Oh, I would go with a rouge, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, dogs are very good at that, I've noticed. And she's a lot more... Whenever my mom comes home from work and she has, like, a rough day or something, she's always, uh... She's always at her side. Tough times we live in, yeah. Is Duchess a girl? Yes, she is. She's a very good girl. Um, stay safe. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about me. I'm in a pretty, pretty tiny little mountain village, kind of tucked away in the middle of nowhere. So, I, I think I'll be okay. Uh, my mom works as a cashier at a Walmart, so you can tell, especially with um, everything that's been going on with COVID. Then, uh, yeah, that's been kind of stressful for her. <laughs> uh, what have I been doing during quarantine? I've, uh, well, for about a month and a half, I was playing Persona 5 Royal, but I kind of, like, finished that game off pretty handily. You know what I mean? Like, uh... I beat that game and beat the new game plus, got all the personas, completed it pretty much essentially 100%, defeated all the bosses. Uh, the only thing left to do would be to go back and I guess play it on like the hardest difficulty setting, like Merciless or something, but I'm not really the kind of gamer that like goes like, you know, I'm going to play it on extreme, you know, or whatever. I don't really do that. So that game's pretty much done. I'm kind of like... trying. I'm in like my little period now where I'm trying to find something else to do, you know. Finished off a few books I was reading, uh, making videos, yeah. Do you know the Muffin Man? My mom made a bunch of muffins yesterday. She uh, made a bunch of stuff. My mom's uh, boyfriend, uh, Jim, came down yesterday, so it was nice to see him. He, he lives about two hours away, so I don't get to see him very often. Ugh.
make a gaming channel. Eh, I'm not really much of a gamer to, like, make a whole channel devoted to it. I have been looking at uh, new possibilities for Pokemon, though. Uh, new possibilities for, uh, like, the, the Nuzlocks and stuff. I saw a few that looked pretty cool. Like, that Pokemon Fusion Generator game, that looked neat. And the Pokemon Ash Gray, that looked good, too. Boyfriend? Yes, my mom has a boyfriend. Any cooking recipes? Um, yeah, uh, not yesterday, but the day before that I made Sloppy Joe. I have this, like, Sloppy Joe recipe I always kind of tinker with. It's, um, I can probably remember it, honestly, by my heart, how many times I've made it. Uh, two pounds of ground beef, you know, you cut up on a whole onion. Sometimes I use a red onion, sometimes I use a yellow onion. Uh, ground mustard, Worcester sauce. Uh, I add a little bit of red wine in it. Uh, vinegar. There's also, uh, like, peppers you add as well. Uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper, all that stuff. Although I use, like, a lemon pepper kind of seasoning for it. And, uh tomato sauce and ketchup and I think that oh brown sugar two t two tablespoons brown sugar also makes a makes a damn good sloppy joe if you uh want to add a little bit more kick to it you can add um like just regular mustard just be very very careful with it that's why I use ground mustard but you know if you want to add a few drabs of like um actual mustard tastes good too yep r.i.p george floyd you know, it's just like, I, this shit keeps happening, <laughs> you know, this shit keeps happening and uh, nothing ever really seems to change. And I, I understand, like everyone that's protesting, like, I, I understand what drove them to this, you know, like, because I, I can't tell you over the years, just not even like. Not even in, like, the last, uh, not, not even going back to, like, 20, 30 years ago or whatever. Just, like, in the last few years, I can't tell you how many times I've seen video or I've seen people talking about or I've seen articles about, like, you know, people getting shot while fleeing, you know, like, like people just, you know, like, police just shooting people. And uh, it just seems to keep happening. I was in Pittsburgh last night. Wow, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm, you guys, you guys stay safe. Because you guys, like, I saw, I saw a few people in here that, like, are living in these cities or living very near these cities. And I have no idea how long this is going to go on for. So, you guys be, uh, you guys be safe. Because I know I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be all right. I got Duchess. We're good. Yeah. The cycle itself isn't breaking, you know. It's. It really just comes down at, like, a big crushing thing where, you know, y y I I'm sure I'm not the only one, but has anyone else gotten to a point where, like, okay, like, y you watch the actual news story of George Floyd being killed, and then the riots start, and all the protests start. Does anyone else have a moment where you just realize, like, the weight of all of this shit just, like, hitting you at once? Of, like, you know, just bearing down, like, this is reality this is the world we live in this is this is real and is it is it ever going to change really in a big meaningful way i hope it does but you see things and you keep going back and back and it's just like i don't know if it will Uh, yesterday, though, um, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's changing anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm like looking at all this stuff happening, and I'm like, all right, you know, peaceful protest after peaceful protest, and now this, like these riots on this large scale thing like you just look at the map you see it happen all over the u.s it happens outside the u.s too but mostly obviously in the u.s uh and uh i, I i'm holding on to a little bit of like 
maybe this will actually like wake people up and this will change some stuff like or at least the beginnings of change but yeah Yesterday, I watched the uh, the SpaceX launch, and uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, I was like the first launch in like nine years, so that was really cool to watch that. And you know, I'm, I'm seeing that, and uh, everything was good. Everything made it. You know, the nothing nothing bad happened because it's just like it's just enough shit going on right now. You know, so they're launching. I was like, okay, awesome, good launch. But I, I read a meme afterwards. And the meme was like, I, I don't think I've identified with a meme as much as this one in a while. And the meme was, uh, man, I'm really jealous of those two guys just leaving the Earth. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I can feel that. Yeah. Because I think most people at this point just want to take a break. Like, hey, can we just go to Mars for like a week? You know, and just get just get off the planet for a little while. Just to take a... You know, just... <laughs> What's my favorite Pokemon game? Um, probably Crystal. Because that's what I grew up with. Yeah. What dog breed is Duchess? Uh, she is a boxer. She's a good girl. <laughs> She's very... I want you to understand how unusual this is for her, really. Because usually Duchess, she'll... Um, uh, my mom usually goes to work early in the morning, so she'll wake up, let Duchess out, feed her, and then uh, go to work. And then usually Duchess will go back to bed, because my mom leaves for work at like 5. So she'll go back to bed downstairs, and then I'll wake up later, come downstairs probably like two, three hours later, and let her out. You know, she goes pee, and then she comes back in. And, and she'll usually chill out for a little while, but normally, you know, normally by this time in the day, she's a lot more active. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll take her for a walk later. She should, oh, 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 did you see her? Did you see her ears perk up with that? Oh yeah, she's a she's a pro boxer. She's heavyweight. She's heavyweight champ. She's uh she's getting a little older. I think uh for a long time we thought she was born in 2011, but uh I think she was born in 2010 now. I think because she was originally uh my mom's boyfriend Jim his son originally owned her. And then they moved to, like, a new house or a new apartment or something where dogs weren't allowed. So then uh, they gave Duchess over to Jim. And so Jim really raised her for, like, a good two, three years. And then after our dog, Lucky, died, um, Jim gave Duchess over to us in 2014. But I think, I think Jim recently found, like, her papers or something and uh, saying that she was born, I think, in late 2010. Yeah, she's getting older. <laughs> she's still a good girl, though. Why don't I have a boxing match with Nux? Probably because I don't know how to box. Uh, maybe I should start reading Tower of God. Everyone always tells me, like, that's probably, like, in recent months, that's probably the number one recommendation. Read Tower of God. I was reading, uh... Last week, I started reading this manga. It's like a slice-of-life manga called uh, Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out, where it's literally just... It's a slice-of-life story about a girl that has huge... You know, and, uh, <laughs> just, like... It, 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 it's the same basic premise a lot of times where there's a main character that's completely oblivious and just like, get away from me. I don't want to hang out with you. You're so annoying, but you're so ridiculously hot at the same time.
Ah, that's why you're reading it. I mean, the story is actually pretty good, too, but I won't lie when I say that, like, boobs are boobs, you know what I mean? Duchess can train you to box. Oh, yeah! Duchess, we might have to have a training competition. Be like Rocky. Last week, I was down, uh, I was having a nice little, like, Memorial Day, uh, like, cookout with my friends. First time I've seen them in a while because of everything going on. And I was in their basement, and they have, like, uh, one of his younger brothers, like, you know, trains on, like, a punching bag. So they have the punching bag down there. So I put on the boxing gloves, and I'm like, ugh. Uh, punch the bag a few times, but I'm like, I don't think I'm cut out for this, guys. Have I ever read The Gamer? I don't believe I have. Don't believe I have. Yeah, I should turn on. I think, you know what? I think slow mode is already turned on, but let me check. No, it's not. Okay. All right, I turned on slow mo. There we go. Oh, it's Gyro Zeppeli's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Zeppeli. Zeppeli Sensei. Yeah, I'm going to save this stream, I think. I might put it up on the side channel. That's not a bad idea, but I think I'm going to save this one, yeah. Please stop sounding gay. Well, I'm not gay, but <laughs> apparently I've been told that that was like that was like the go-to insult when you were in elementary school. Like everything was just gay, you know. So that that got dished out at me quite a bit. In which state do you live? I live in Pennsylvania. I live in this little area of Pennsylvania, little little area of Appalachia, in Western PA, Western Central PA ish. Do you watch anime raps? I watch uh, Rustages. Uh, his his channel was the first really channel that because I'm not um, not like way into rap. My one friend Casey, uh, you know, she shows me some stuff and I'm like, okay, this is good. I like this stuff. I like this stuff. Uh, maybe not a huge fan of this kind of stuff, but you know, like she's like giving me a bunch of different options. I like Kendrick Lamar. Uh, she showed me some Kendrick Lamar. I'm like, okay, this, this guy's pretty cool. I like this guy. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I, I was listening. I listened to the uh, Hashirama rap by Rustage just yesterday. So you're a hillbilly. Um, working at a store for seven years, I can tell you we have hillbillies in the area, yes. Modern hillbillies. Like, nobody nobody walked in with, like, the corn cob pipe and, like, the typical, like, old, the old hillbilly sitting on the porch with, like, you know, one tooth and the corn cob pipe, you know, strumming a banjo. You know, no, uh, no one's ever come in like that. But we we have like a modern hillbilly kind of demographic here. Yes, cruel son. Yeah, I'm still. Um, there's a few other things in the mail I'm waiting for now. Um, you like moonshine? I don't drink. Um, my one, uh, I, I have a friend that has made moonshine before, and also my mom's boyfriend Jim brought some moonshine down once. I have not, uh, have not drank it, but I did smell it, and it was pretty damn strong. <laughs> pretty strong. Yeah, they have anime conventions in Pennsylvania. Um, that, that's what made, like, because the, the main convention I go to every year is, um, Teco, which is in April. It's in Pittsburgh, which, you know, I'm watching the protests and everything happening last night, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, because I've been... You know, I was so afraid to drive to Pittsburgh for so many years, and then just only honestly a couple years back is when I started driving there. Like, I got used to driving into Pittsburgh on my own. So I'm watching the protest last night, and I'm like, wow, like, I know where that is, I know where that is, I know where that is. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's obviously been canceled because of COVID, and they're going to start that back up, I think, uh, July of next year they're doing uh, Teco. And uh, there's another convention. The last convention I was at was SetsuCon in Altoona, uh, which is only about a 45-minute drive from my house. Uh, and that's the closest convention center that's really around. And I'm gonna, I'm kind of glad 
Um, you're goaded for listening to Kendrick. I like Kendrick Lamar. Um, but um, anyway, so uh, I was glad I was I got to at least go to that convention because that convention is in January. So that one was not. That one earlier this year was on without a hitch because that was before the COVID and everything was going on in China, but it really hadn't hit the U.S. in a big way yet, so that wasn't canceled. So I was able to go to that one at least. That's where I got this Dr. Stone um, thing and also uh, Joker hanging out back there. That's where we got those. So that was pretty neat. I knew a guy named Al Tuna. Altuna, according to my, uh, yeah, I, I just turned Super Chat off. Um, Altuna, according to my one friend, because my one friend Chris kind of studies the, um, um, kind of, kind of studies, like, the local area in terms of, like, uh, like, history and stuff. And, uh, I think he told me Altuna is, like, an Indian name or derived from an Indian name for, um, Mountain City. I believe that's what it translates. It's some something connecting back to that because it is a city in the middle of the mountains. Come to the EU. We have rights and civility. I would love to visit London. Oh wait, I guess London. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. England's not part of. Yeah, that that I, I made that. I, t I said that to uh, I think Rustage or somebody that lives in England once. I'm sorry. I I would also like to go to um, to Germany. I'd like to visit Germany. I have some friends that live in Germany. France seems lovely. Sorry. Yeah, I saw the SpaceX launch. It was pretty it was pretty awesome. What video sound equipment do you use? I use a blue Yeti. Uh, I also have a blue spark down here that I use sometimes. I actually just got some new cables for this because the cable for this Yeti broke. And I only had one left, and that one was kind of breaking. So I, I got some new cables for that, thankfully. Um, the Spark is cool. I bought this one because I, uh, I I looked up on an article. I saw an article once of um, uh, PewDiePie's microphone was one of these. So I thought, all right. So I bought it, and it's a really good mic. I just It's kind of awkward, as you can see, just the way it's set up and everything. Uh, I, I, I would say, overall, I like the Yeti more. Um, yeah, this thing is... It's, it's okay, but also just the idea of, like, attaching this to a tripod or a arm thing, like an arm stand or something, would be kind of difficult because it's kind of, like, awkward and heavy, but really good quality. I've discovered that I have to be kind of, like, whenever I, I have a microphone, you know, I'm screaming and yelling a lot in my videos, so, uh, you know, I got to, uh adjust the settings a lot and this one is actually pretty good for that this one is good as well Australia neat Australia would be lovely um, they also speak English there so that at least I could yeah I don't have to have like the cultural barrier with that Although that's why I'm learning Japanese, because I would love to go to Japan, because as a weeb, I have to make the pilgrimage to Akihabara at least once in my life. Uh, but I want to see, like, a lot of Japan as well. I just kind of want to travel. Uh, I want to go to Hokkaido. I want to go to Okinawa. I want to see all the kind of places in Japan. Maybe not, probably not just in one trip, but who knows? Maybe some, maybe one day I'll just have it, and I'll, like, after, like, the COVID, after the travel restrictions are done, I'll be like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do, like, a month-long vacation in Japan. That'd be That'd be so damn cool. Got to work on my Japanese a little bit, though. Wow, Duchess hasn't moved. She's okay. She's just sleepy. Are you doing okay? This morning, she seemed okay. This morning, she woke up, and I let her out and everything, and she seemed fine. Do you get high? No, I don't, but right around now... <laughs> Right around now, I'm thinking, like, you know, I kind of envy people that are getting high, because right about now. Now, I didn't see the 24-hour stream with Briggs, but, uh, I, apparently that just ended, so everyone that's coming from that, welcome. This isn't the most upbeat stream I've ever done, but we're here. How much Japanese can I speak? Um, I can name all the kitchen appliances. 
and 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 I I know a decent amount of words and like stuff that you would probably encounter in your regular life. Like if I can ask to go to the bathroom, and be like toire wa doko desu ka? Like where's the toilet? Pretty simple. I'm 27. I want to go to Sinnoh, too. I mean Hokkaido. It's easy to make that distinction. Yesterday, I had to come up with some Japanese for the uh, the Luffy video. Uh, the Luffy video, I had to do uh, this scene where I was pretending Luffy had, like... Because I, I, the, the, the point of that video I was doing was just like, okay, so you have Naruto that has the nine-tailed spirit inside of him. Then you have uh, Ichigo that has his inner hollow. You have Asta that has the devil. You have Toriko with all the appetite demons and everything. And I'm, I'm like, well, Luffy doesn't have something like that. So if Luffy gets beaten down by Kaido and he's on the ground all bleeding out, Luffy can't just like, I leave the rest to you. I'm releasing the beast within. You know, Luffy can't just like, I release you, Meat Man. And then like the Meat Man arises. And I came up with the name of a technique, which was... Uh, Kyu hi niku kaimetsu ho! You know, and um, someone's behind you, look out! Oh no, it's a dog. <laughs> it's just a dog. Um, but no, uh, the, the, yeah, that attack from what I, I was kind of proud at that, but at the same time, I'm not sure if that's accurate. But, uh, it was nine. Nine meets destruction cannon was supposed to be like what I was going for there, uh, because I was doing like all right, Q is nine, and then I, for, in Japanese you have a thing called counters. Counters get added to certain things. So for example, if I'm counting uh, something small, I believe the counter is uh, ko, and I have a thing over here like a chart of everything. Satsu is one. I think Satsu is a counter for things that are like bundled together. So if you're counting bundles of things, you would use the counter Satsu. Um, uh, in Bleach, so in Bleach, you know how uh, Byakuya Zanpakuto is Sen Bon Zakura. So Sen means one thousand in Japanese, and Zakura Sakura is the the, the cherry blossom petals, which is what his uh, his technique is. But where does the bone part come from? Sen Bon Zakura. They just use the kanji for book. So it literally, if you look at just the kanji, it reads as like, um, it reads as te a thousand book sakura petals. But that's actually the counter for things that are like flat and long, like a sword. So you would use uh, hone or pwn or uh, hone, pwn, bone. Yeah, that's what you would use for that. So I was looking it up, and I guess uh, heen, heen is, and use the kanji for goods in heen, which is basically just like three squares, like two squares on the bottom and one square on top. That's the kanji for goods. Like, like, like I purchase goods at a store. That's the kanji. That's apparently what you use when you're, when you're accounting food products. So that's what I used. So I used uh, kyun hi niku, niku just meaning meat, and then kaimetsu, which I think means annihilation or destruction, and then ho, or taiho, which is canon. So not canon like manga canon, but canon like canon, you know? So I, I hope that turned out okay. I hope that I, I accurately did that. Wouldn't senbone zakura mean needle petals? Um, only if, like, Senbone, you're talking, like, Senbone, like, because, like, the kanji are different. So you have to, like, look at the kanji, because it could be phonetically very similar, but the kanji could be different. No, I mean, like, like, I'm okay, like, personally. Eh. Like, there's nothing, like, bad going on immediately in my life or anything. Like, my, my grandmother's in the hospital again, but she's she's doing okay. But it's just, it's just like, I had a moment this morning where I, I already talked about this earlier, but I had a moment this morning where I woke up and I just, I was, I was on the scroll, you know, the long scroll of Facebook and everything. And I just, I just had a, like, kind of got a really bad stomach ache and just feeling like, you know, I, 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 as, as I said earlier, had that crushing, like, oh, this is the world we live in feeling, yeah. Um... I went for a walk. I'm trying to get some air and stuff, you know. 
come to Oxford. We have tea, and that's about it. Aw, she's asleep. Hey, Duchess. Want to go for a walk? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to, uh... I don't mean to tease you. We will go later. We will go after the stream is over, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I did plan on doing a video today on Reverie Chapter 2. It's just, like, I didn't... I, I would usually be filming that, like, right now. Usually is when I would film stuff like that, like, around 11, noon. Uh, I just didn't really feel like doing it, if we're being straight up. Like, I, I'm, I still want to do it, because that's for Artur and Gemini, and I said that... I, I told Artur yesterday I would do it today. Um, it's just, I really didn't feel like, uh... I, I didn't feel like, really, like, just the way my stomach was and everything was to just, like, put on the suit and do, like, uh... Whew, I mean, I could do it, but, you know, I just, I just wanted to take a break for a little bit, and, uh, I went for a walk, and now I'm doing this. And, uh... Yeah, just just talk to you guys for a little bit, and uh, yeah, maybe later today I'll do that. I remembered to charge my camera today, thank God. Last week when I was doing the One Piece review, I go downstairs in my studio, and there was, um, there I forgot to charge my camera, so I plug it, I, I turn it on, and I'm like, oh, please have enough battery. And uh, it only goes to like 10 seconds of battery left, I'm like, crap. So I had to use my other camera, which is also, like, not as good. I think she's just really tired. Then again, since, uh, since Jim was down yesterday, Jim and my mom were here yesterday, she was having a lot of fun. She was running around. She was, she was playing with them. We went for a walk. So I think she just maybe tuckered herself out a little bit from yesterday. Or something else that might happen, because this does tend to happen with her, uh, whenever Jim comes down... Because uh, Jim was, like, the person that raised her when she was, like, one to three years old. So she's very, uh, very happy when Jim's around. But whenever Jim leaves, she gets kind of sad. And my mom also left to go to work, so she's also sad there. Which I think is why she's clinging to me so much today. Thank you, Michael, for the membership. Um, Jim also had a, another dog named Pugs. Uh, that wasn't a pug. It was a uh, Shih Tzu. And uh, he recently passed away. Because that Pugs was an older dog. And so... Duchess really liked playing with Pugs, and now Pugs isn't going to be coming around anymore, so... I think that's really what she's feeling right now. She's a very emotional dog. Did she eat chocolate? No, nah, she didn't eat chocolate. I had some dark chocolate yesterday. I was having, like, a fire. Not yesterday, a few days ago. I was having a fire, so I had some s'mores and some, some dark chocolate I bought. It was good. Alfredo sauce doesn't exist in Italy. I like Alfredo sauce, uh, but, you know, I can... It's not, like, my go-to whenever I'm making, like, a pasta. I've used Alfredo sauce a few times. It's good. Um, I usually just use, like, spaghetti sauce when I'm making spaghetti or a pasta or lasagna or whatever. I would love to go to Italy and have, like, authentic pasta. That would be delicious. What do I do most of the day now? Uh, yesterday, I could tell you, I went for about seven walks around town. <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. George Floyd. Yeah. I mean, I talked about it already in the stream, but yeah. Um, it's horrible what happened to that guy. I mean, like, even if you come... Like, I even saw... Because, like, I... When it first happened, I was looking at all the uh, the news articles for it. And obviously, at first, when all this stuff happens, there's going to be, like, he was trying to do this, or they did this. And, okay, so I waited a couple of days. From what I can understand, he was going into the deli, right? And I, I heard some stories that said he was trying to write, he was writing a bad check. And other stories say that he was uh, using a 20, and he paid with cash. And the store clerk uh, thought the 20 was counterfeit. I'm not sure if the 20 was counterfeit or not. But that's what got the police being called. But at any rate, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even if the, the, the 20 was uh, fake or whatever. Um, you know, it, no one deserves that. No one deserves to go out like that, right? I think he had fake money. Like, right, okay. Even if that's true. Like, because I don't know. I haven't said the article that, like that confirmed that 100%. But even if it was the case, no one deserves to be fucking killed by, you know, on the freaking sidewalk, held and crushed 
for, what was it, like eight minutes, eight, nine minutes, something like that. Two of which I think it was when he was already, you know, uh, he lost consciousness and eventually died. So the guy's knee was definitely on the dude's freaking neck when he was most certainly dead for several minutes. Yeah, no matter what you do, like even like I even saw some people earlier is like, well, you know, he, he had uh, some drug charges. I'm like, well, OK, well, even if that's the case, no one deserves that, you know. Eight minutes, 46 seconds. Yeah, it was some. Yeah, it was that was it. Use quarantine to get ripped. Replace one of those walls with a... My mom just bought a new exercise machine. She's turning our, our living room into a home gym. This exercise machine, I don't really get it. Um, it's like... It, you sit on a platform and it just kind of does this. And so it does this. I was on there for about two minutes and my motion sickness caught up. I'm like, whoa, that makes me feel really dis disoriented here. Yeah, why pin on the neck? I don't get that part. Yeah. I'm just like, can't, like, like the, the dude was already handcuffed, wasn't he? He was handcuffed behind the back on, on the ground. Like, if you really want to make sure he can't move, I mean, already, I think that'll pretty much solve it. But just, I guess, hold his legs if you're afraid of him, like, jumping up or something. But, yeah, that was completely uncalled for. That was, I mean, the, the cops were all fired. And that cop in question, I think his name was Derek, wasn't it? Uh... He's being charged with second and third murder right now. Um, I, you could probably even have a case for first degree murder, honestly, considering, you know, how long he like, he's like, hey, surprise, surprise, you kneeling on somebody's throat for eight minutes and 40 something seconds resulted in his death. You know, who could have seen that coming? Right. Um, so I think there's definitely a case for that. Um, but I believe, yeah, he's also being prosecuted for that. I think he's on suicide watch right now. I read an article yesterday on him being on suicide watch. Uh, his wife is getting a divorce. Matt, I don't think that was an exercise machine. I mean, I don't know what my mom gets up to, but no, it's like literally just, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's third degree or it's third degree. Like you already can easily get like a, a manslaughter charge easily for that. But, uh, also I feel like he should be held to a, a higher standard though when it comes to like, it's like, okay, you're a police officer. So the fact that you did this, you should be held more accountable because like, you're supposed to like protect and serve. You know what I mean? Is it a vibrator? I mean, it kind of like you would sit on it and it's like, like you stand on it and then it kind of just shifts back and forth like this. Yeah. My mom has that. She has a treadmill. She has a exercise bike. So our, our, our living room is essentially kind of half gym, half living room right now. Yeah, that's a vibrator. All right, it's a vibrator. It wasn't really doing its job, though, because when I was on there, I was just kind of getting dizzy. Yeah, exactly. Can you pat my dog? Okay. Pat my dog. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what it is. Because when my mom takes her to go to Jim's house for, like, a week uh, to kind of, like, hang out, you know, because my mom on vacation, she goes down to his house to hang out, and I'm just here. And sometimes she takes Duchess. And whenever Duchess comes back, because, you know, Jim used to have two dogs. He only has one now. He has a um, he has a uh, St. Bernard named Chumley, who's adorable. I love that dog. He's just a big floof. And uh, used to have pugs, but then pugs passed away. But anyway, so Duchess would go away for a week and get to hang out with her dad and hang out with the two other dogs that she grew up with. And then she, she would have a lot of fun. And then whenever Duchess would come back home, she would feel really like this. She would be like this. She'd be really bummed out sitting on the couch for like a day or two. Just like. Yeah. Yeah, Chumley's a great dog. He's St. Bernard. They're gentle giants. Yeah, I don't agree with, uh, I don't want, I don't want, I want things to change in this country when it comes to, like, police brutality and stuff, but I'm like, I also don't want, like, whole cities to burn to the ground, you know? And, um, but at the same time, it's like, that that's the thing that's frustrating me so much. It's like, we've tried the peaceful protest thing, like it says in the Constitution, like, you know, right to assemble, right to peacefully protest, we do that, nothing really seems to happen, so that's why I can understand, like, it's like why people would resort to violence 
It's just like, well, this shit keeps happening, and there's nothing that's we're doing the peaceful thing. And there were people that there are people that's peaceful. Ah, there are people that's peaceful protesting too. It's not all just violence everywhere. Um, there are people that are doing genuine peaceful protests. I saw like uh, that and videos of that. Um, but you know, so I I can see it. Like it's I, I'm just I'm hoping maybe this will like the people higher ups will be like okay. This happened. These riots occurred. Maybe now we need to start actually moving shit forward to get things changed. Because if not, then what happens the next time this occurs, you know? Yeah, I can't agree. I can't agree with, like, the burning things down and, um, like, the innocent people that are, like... Because like, I saw people that really weren't doing anything wrong and they were getting, uh... Well, like, well, this is the situation with the police, like, in just general... You know, they were using, uh, like, the rubber bullets and the tear gas and stuff. There were people that might have been trying to peacefully protest and still get hit with that stuff. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming that most of these businesses, like the Target and everything, were insured. And the people that work there are uh, going to get, like, unemployment, but still. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I saw that video of a, um, there was a police horse that got hit by a brick last night. I mean, the, the, I, I mean, the, 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 the poor horse, you know? She probably thinks you're a weirdo next door. So my next door neighbor, she moved in with, uh, her son about a year ago. Yeah, it was a year ago. It was about uh, it was about you know, July, June of last year, and uh, all my other neighbors before her, I've I've had a moment to sit down and like tell them like, hey, I do this YouTube stuff in here. So if you hear screaming and shouting, y you know that's not um, that's not me yelling at somebody. That's not like a domestic thing or anything. That's just how I. That's just what I do for a living, right? Um. And uh, I never had the chance to actually sit down with her yet and tell her, you know. Uh, every time I see her, it's it's usually just like, hey, hey, and then that's it, you know. So I, I know she's probably heard a few things of what I've been doing. Because that room, especially the room where I film uh, my videos in, uh, that room does not have any insulation. So... You can pretty much, like, if I'm in that room screaming about, like, I can't believe Kaido went into, he's, Kaido's a dragon! Screaming at the top of my lungs. You, if you're outside, anywhere near my house, like, if you're just walking by, you know, on the sidewalk, you're gonna hear shit, you know? Yeah, YouTube's my full-time job. I need to talk to my neighbor, man. Yeah, I saw that too. I saw they arrested that guy from CNN. I don't know, man. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Um, I don't know what the end result's going to be. He's see yeah, he's like that kid's seeing dragons. He must be on some good LSD. I have no idea what she thinks. Like, I really don't. Or maybe I can because all my other neighbors know about what I do because they've all lived around me for years. So, uh, um, maybe uh, maybe she'll talk to like maybe she's talked to my other neighbors before and be like, hey, that kid that lives in that house over there, Matt. Like. Sometimes I catch him just screaming at the top of his lungs. Like, is he okay? Is is he all right up there? I I don't know if I'm right. Oh, I don't. I don't. That's that's even I do not know that one. But um, I don't know. Like maybe one of my other neighbors were like, oh, he does YouTube, so he does that a lot. Just ignore it. It's fine. You know, if if it ever gets to the point where I'm being like, because I don't film things like it. Like I don't film late at night and scream. Like if I'm I don't go down and film stuff in my studio and yell at like midnight. You know what I mean? Because that's just rude. You know, that would just be rude to everybody that lives around me. Uh, 
So, you know, in that particular instance, if I'm being so loud and you're actually trying to sleep or something, yeah, you could come and just tell me, just like, hey, Matt, shut up. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, you know. But that's never come up. That's never gotten to the point. Yeah, 2020 is kind of a wash, I've noticed. 2020 is... Not to mention all your random running around in costumes. Well, I, I, when I mostly run around in costumes, I'm inside, I'm indoors. Uh, but occasionally I do have to go outside in, in costumes. So my neighbors will see me like that sometimes. And I just, you know, I, I just roll with it, you know, because I got to do stuff. I got to film. We aren't even halfway through 2020 yet, yeah. I was walking, uh, I was walking around town last night, and I was actually thinking that. I was thinking, like, well, I'm walking around town, it's all, it's gonna be June 1st soon, you know, it's almost June. I'm like, cause June is the sixth month of the year, and I'm thinking, wow, at least we made it halfway through 2020. Wait, no. It's the end of June, that's the halfway point. It's like July 1st would be, like, the halfway point. I'm like, shit. Is that dude filming himself mowing the lawn? See, I don't... Are you okay? Duchess. You alright? Okay, then. Thank you, Jack. Are you aiming to become the 40-year-old virgin? I don't know. What do I get? I hear when you become 30 and you're a virgin, you get the magic wizard powers, but do I become like a, uh, do I become like an archmage when I, uh, like, d do I become the archmage when I become, uh, 40? What about 50, 60? What if you make it your whole life being a virgin? What happens then? Oh, God, no. No, I'm not saying that. It's like, it's like, don't, the comment was like, just don't say it can't get any worse than this. That was, no, dear God, I'm not saying that. Because, you know. I thought 30 equaled wizard, yeah. Do you think magic is real? I wish magic was real so I could use it to just live in a magical universe. Like, let me ask you a legitimate question here. Would you rather live in this world right now with everything going on, or would you rather want to live in a world of fantasy? Now, that might seem like an easy choice, but keep in mind, when I say the world of fantasy, I mean shit like dragons and ghosts and, like, horrible, like, you know, demons and devils from hell actually exist and could, like, you know... Like, like it's it, like in this world, in this fantasy world, it's totally plausible for you just to be living in a tiny little village like I live in, and then for a dragon to come out of nowhere and burn the entire village down for no reason. Like in this universe, like that could happen. Would you take the risk? But, but on the other side of that spectrum, it's a world where like magic is real and you can learn legitimate magic. And, uh, you know, all these fantasyful creatures exist and everything. 2020 was supposed to be my good year. Well, try 2021. Let's just reset. Let's try. Let's try again 2021. I would totally take that risk, yeah. That takes a whole new meaning to that, those isekai videos I made. Interspecies reviewers would be the best. I just finished. That was another thing I was watching through the, uh, the quarantine. I was watching interspecies reviewers. Why don't I stream on Twitch? Because I was banned on Twitch. Probably depends on the magic system. Okay. Let's say the magic system works like Nen from Hunter x Hunter. Because that, in my opinion, that is the best kind of magic system in, like, honestly, fiction. Um, I saw, I read a couple fantasy novels like the King Killer series with the, the sympathy. That's also a really nice way of, way it's handled with like actual kind of science backing it a little bit. But, uh, yeah. 
Oh, why did I get banned on Twitch? I mean, that's that's a story I've told before a bunch of times. I was about to play a game called Yandere Simulator. About to play a game. I didn't actually play the game. I, I saw a Team 4 Star. I saw the Vegeta plays. He played it. I thought that seems like an interesting game. Uh, Yandere Simulator. I think it was only in its beta at the point. So I downloaded it, and I, I started the Twitch stream, and I was right about to start... And then uh, I got banned before I even, like, I, I, I was in there for, like, ten minutes. And, like, I remember I had, like, like Alexa, all lights red. All lights red. Okay, so I had, like, I, I had, like, a red light bulb in my room. And I was wearing, like, my kimono. And I was, like, swirling, like, a glass of tea, like, wine. And I was, like, welcome, everyone, to the Yandere Simulator stream. I was, I was streaming it at, like, midnight. Welcome to the Midnight Stream. Alexa, uh, all lights white. There we go. Um, so I was doing that, and before I even had a chance to play the game, it got banned. I've seen B-Stars too, yeah. Would YouTube still be a thing in the fantasy world? Yeah, I'm thinking it's a fantasy world, so YouTube and the internet, as we as we know it, um, does not exist. Maybe um, they have, like, communication devices that are, like, similar to, like, face chat. Like, maybe they have, like, crystal balls or, like, a magic window or a magic, like, mirror or something you could look into and you can, like... <coughs> like the distance mirrors and stuff you see in Castlevania in the Netflix series. Maybe something like that could work. Um, but, um... Uh, maybe not, not like, it wouldn't have, like, a, like, a fantasy version of, like, Facebook or anything, right? Yeah, like, Den Den Mushies and stuff. Like, yeah, I think it would be nice to have communication like that. But it, it, it wouldn't have, like, medieval fantasy version of Twitter, you know, or YouTube. Oh, no, like this. Fa okay, in the fantasy world, everybody knows Nen exists, and you can even take Nen classes. How about that? You can take Nen classes. You could sign up at the local, like, the, the, the local community college and be like, you know, uh, Biscuit Kruger is going to be, you know, having a five-day Nen lecture. You know, sign up, you know, like, that's, you know, like, like you can do that, yeah. Oh. But yeah, I, I won't say it couldn't get any worse, but what do you guys think is going to happen for the later part of this year? Do you think it's going to get better, or do you think it's going to basically stay the same, or just going to get worse? Because it could be... Uh, I was going to say it could be any of the three, but honestly, I'm not. I'm kind of not holding out a lot of hope for the first one. Better? Worse, better, mass isekai, stays the same, yeah. I try to be optimistic too. <laughs> it just wears on you after a while, you know? Like, it's one thing for me to like, like in a way, I try to be like, you know, I try to, uh, I mean, I'm going to save this stream but I might put it up on the vlog channel. I try to, like, with my main core videos, I try to be like, okay, I talk about anime. Let's focus on anime. Let's let's have a place where people can, like, go and watch my videos and, like, not worry about, like, try to, like, dip, you know, like, escape from the world for 20 minutes and just watch a video about Luffy or, like, you know, Bleach or something, you know? Um, I try to do that, but, yeah, it, it wears on you. There's a difference between, like, okay, I'm going to do a video for, like, 20, 30 minutes now and... Then after it's over and you edit and everything, it's just like, okay, now back to back to Facebook and back to watching the news and everything. And yeah. Uh, the next video I'm going to make is going to be the uh, stream for the... Not the stream. The um, Return to Reverie 2, which um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, so I might, I might film that still today. I really want to get that out today because I told Artur I was going to get that out today. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hello. I'm, I'm doing a stream right now. What's up? Um, okay? Oh, no. It was leaking water all over the floor when I woke up this morning. Yeah, it was a giant puddle. It was surprised I didn't step in it. I threw a bath... I, I, threw, I just threw a bath towel down there underneath it. 
Because it was it was a puddle. Yeah, same same place. I think it was actually worse, honestly, because it was it it was it was a puddle. It was like, I'm honestly surprised I didn't um, I don't know where it's coming from, dude. Like, yeah, Jim was looking at it. I I was surprised I didn't step in or Duchess or me didn't step in it when we were walking into the into the living room because it was like yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. No, I I saw that this morning, and I immediately just went upstairs, grabbed a bath towel, and just shoved it underneath the the thing. Uh, yeah, we need to get one of those. Uh, we had them when I worked at Dollar Tree. They were like, like a sandbag, but it's like designed to absorb moisture. So whenever the freezers were leaking at work, we could just shove that underneath it, and it would absorb all the moisture. Wh okay, who the fridge guy or Jim? Okay. All right. Yeah, no. I mean, no. I mean, it's still it's still clean. It's just it's 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 leaking, you know. I mean, I could try doing that. I could uh I mean, yeah, I guess that would give us an idea. I think it's from because there was a coil there, like a like a like a cooling coil or something. Maybe it's like in a you know how like in a car, when you stop the car, if you if you run the AC a lot in your car after you stop the car, at least with mine, the G6, it just leaks underneath it. Maybe it's something like that. It's not leaking fluid; it's just leaking water. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I gotta get going because I'm doing I'm doing a stream, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll make sure to you watch the fridge. All right. You have a good day. Bye. Sorry about that. Yeah, our fridge is leaking. Yeah. Our, uh, our fridge is... Is your refrigerator running? Yes. Oh, well, you better go catch it. I'm trying to! I call my mom, dude. I do. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even realize that, but I do that all the time, yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, I guess I guess most people don't call their mothers dudes. I suppose. Condensation. Oh no, it's way more than condensation. It's a lot of freaking condensation. There was a giant puddle on our floor this morning. Like, cause yeah, you know, it's been leaking. And Jim came down yesterday, and we we pulled the we pulled the freaking fridge back, and we're looking at it, and he's trying to find like where the hell is this water coming from. It has, like, a, our fridge has, like, a water thing, you know, has, like, a cable, like, a cord, like, running down, like, a hose to get fresh water and stuff. So we're looking at that, we're looking at the water filter, we're looking at everything, and, like, where the hell is this water leaking? And we can't really find it. And so Jim does a few adjustments and stuff, and he pulls out the fridge a bit, and he's like, all right, well, let's just see how it goes. And then, no, it's, no, it's not on the ice side. It's on the refrigerator side. If it was, like, right, if it was, like, right underneath the ice dispenser then that would make sense, but it's not. It's, like, on the opposite end of the of the ice dispenser. So, yeah, I don't know. But I walked down there this morning, and I was surprised I honestly didn't step right into it because there was a giant puddle right there because, like, right next to the fridge is the entrance to the living room. And so there was, like, here's the entrance to the living room, and the puddle was probably coming up to right here to, like, halfway through the entranceway, so I'm surprised I didn't step in it. <sighs> so I got to, uh... I got to go, and I got to, um... I got to uh, add some more water and stuff underneath. Not water. I have to add some more towels underneath it. And uh, maybe check to see how it's leaking. Yeah, because our, our, our fridge is, like, split down the middle. So, like, the left side is, like, the freezer. The right side is the fridge. And it's on the fridge side, way in the far corner. So, like, as far as from the like as far from the ice dispenser as you could get, basically. And that's the part that don't make sense. The pizza of Napoli, the pasta of Rome, and the risotto of Milan. I will try that. Streaming, don't give it up. Tacking, streaming, don't give it up. Zolo.
Technus or Tech Mom. Yeah, I don't I don't use that. I don't use Technus, Tech Mom. Oh shit! It's uh it's noon. I can go read the new Viz chapters. I didn't even like that was like one of the last things because there's no One Piece this week, but I didn't really even like think about that today. We can go read the new chapters, I guess. I mean, there's spoilers, though, so, yeah. I, yeah, I could do a live reaction, but then that would also involve spoilers. How many mangas have I read? A lot. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, it might be the water filter, but we just replaced it a little while ago, but it might have broken. I don't know, man. It's not your problem. It's it's just that's another thing in my life I just got to worry about. Yes, I'm up to date with the Promised Neverland. I'm up to date with all of the shonen except for Haikyuu because I don't read Haikyuu. What if Kobe was a pirate? Then Luffy would be a marine. Duh. Now, nah, I really haven't gotten into Chainsaw Man. I read like the first 10 chapters of that series and I just I didn't feel it. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a long time for a series to get really good. Like, I'll tell you what right now, with Black Clover, I'm feeling hype as shit for Black Clover. Like, the last chapter really had me going like, oh, yeah. Let's see where this is going, right? Um, I don't really like sports manga. That's why I don't read Haikyuu. Um... Sports manga, I've attempted to read, like, a pure sports-based manga a few times, and just none of them have really done it for me. Um, there's a few other manga, like Slice of Life, I've, I've read that, like, incorporates sports as, like, a side thing. Like, there was one Slice of Life I read where tennis played a big role, but it wasn't, like, the central focus of the entire story. But, uh, yeah, like, a pure sports manga, I'm just, I'm just not into them. It's just not really my type. Vanica is best girl. Thoughts on George Floyd? Yeah, we talked about that a few times in the stream already. But suffice to say, it was a tragedy. Yeah, like, I, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point, but, uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like I said, like before, I just wish things would change. Um, Inazuma 11. Okay. Who's the breadwinner for the house? Well, it, it would be me, I guess. Because it's just me and my mom that live here. My mom works at a, uh, she's a cashier at a Walmart, so doesn't make a lot of money. She made enough. I mean, even when I was not, even back when I was in school, and I just did, I just told a story about this on the vlog channel. Like, even when I was in school... And I wasn't working at all. Uh, you know, we, we still got by okay. She's always been very, like, frugal. Like, saving money as much as possible. But, yeah, I mean, it's not really like like I'm more of the breadwinner or anything. It's just, like, we kind of just split everything 50-50, you know. Like, split the bills and stuff. And if something breaks in the house. Like, if we need to buy a new fridge, for example. Then uh, we'll both, like, split for the fridge. We also need to get a new furnace. That was supposed to happen this year. But uh, that might have to be pushed back later. Yeah. Rustage is tr streaming on Twitch. I'm really hyped. You know what I'm saying? I'm really excited for this week's D&D. Like, just everything going on in the world. I'm just really happy that I get to, like, at least for one week, one day every two weeks, I get to hang out with some really awesome people and just play some D&D. &D. So I'm really looking forward to this episode of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Rustage is one piece D&D. &D. And my internet is going to be good this time, so we don't have to worry about you know, the internet crapping out on me constantly. So I'm definitely looking forward to that this week, like in a big way. Yeah. No, no, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. Like we can, we can afford the furnace. It's just that we were supposed to buy it. It got damaged in a flood and it still works, but we should really get a new one. 
And uh, we were supposed to get it in the spring, but I think it was because of coronavirus. Something happened with that. Like, the place we are going to buy it from, there was a problem. And uh, we, we should still try to honestly get it if we can manage. This house is really old. You know, this house was built in, like, the 20s or the 30s. I think the late 20s, honestly. It's been renovated a few times, but a lot of stuff tends to break. Who did you romance in Royal? Everybody. But Makoto is best girl. Do you think fairy tale is kinda cliche? Do I think fairy tale is kinda cliche? No, it's not kinda cliche. It's pretty cliche. The artwork is still really good though. Oh yeah, no, I don't I don't drink or anything. It's just uh you know, I, I, when I'm having problems, whenever I, uh, like, see the state of the world and I, um, I just feel really upset, what I do is, uh, I, I walk outside into the middle of a baseball field and just rant to myself for about 20 minutes, and then usually I feel better. <laughs> but it's very, it's kind of chilly and windy out today, so I'll probably go up later, maybe if it warms up a bit. Yeah, I'm looking for a house, man. I'm trying to find a house that has, like... Because you figure I'm going to be working there, but I'm also going to be living there. So I'm trying to find a house, and I'm, I really want to live in this particular area. I really don't want to live... I don't want to move away from everybody because all my friends are in the area. I don't want to move away super far. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to find a house in this one town. And there, there's a few that catch my eye and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking. I'm still looking. The room behind me is just a uh, just a hallway, and you can see my jeans back there. Because, yeah, I mean, there's... Don't rush, man. Moving out is such a hassle. Well, I mean, I'm 27, so I've been thinking about it for a few years now. Um, so I definitely want to move out, because, yeah, I just just the fact that I am running out of room here. Like, this, this house is becoming, like... My mom lives here, too, obviously, but I'm, like, trying to save as much room as I can. But there's a lot of space. That's being taken up by fan mail and all the manga that I own and just just my room alone. Like, I have it, like, set up in, like, probably the best possible configuration I can have with all the stuff that I have. Like, all my books and everything. And I have a big box of fan mail over there and everything. But it's a tiny room, you know? I can't tell you. I would love to have... Because I get... The, all the fan mail I get, all of the artwork and all the things and the figurines I get sent to me. Dao Jing King just sent me another Robin figurine yesterday, so in the next fan mail we'll open that. Um, but uh, I would love to put all that stuff behind me. I was looking through some artwork last night that Vinral Grave sent me like over a year ago. Really, really awesome artwork of Zoro and Sanji, uh, Marco, some really badass Marco the Phoenix artwork. And I'm like, man, I would love to put all of this sh shit up on my wall in the background. I just don't have room for it, you know? I can't wait until I get a, um... I can't wait until I get a uh, office of my own. Like, an actual room that I could dedicate to filming that isn't my bedroom, because the bed takes up a big chunk of this room. Also, this dog. <laughs> you know, she takes... Uh, they, they take up a big chunk of the room. So, yeah. Although, I'll tell you something. I, it's, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. Because if I get an office, then it's probably going to be, like, me sitting at a desk like this, sure. But I'm probably going to have a chair behind me. And that's going to be weird. Because I know a lot of people like the bed. I know a lot of people's like, oh, wow, Tekking's room just looks so comfy. I'm like, no, it's cozy. It's nice. But the thing is, I use this bed so much. No. I don't think anybody misconstrued it like that, honestly. But no, I use this bed so much because my room is so small, I don't have room for, like, a chair or anything. So, um, yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe if I get an office, maybe I should get, like, a couch or something in the background or, like, a futon or something. It's not the same, yeah. But it also is going to help me because, I don't know if you guys know this, but, like... My lower back, it, it doesn't, it's not chronic or anything, but if you're sitting on the edge of this bed, I want to tell you something, okay? I've sat on the edge of this bed so many times filming thousands of videos. The edge of this bed, like the, the mattress itself, it's just a spring mattress, is like super dropped. So I, what I had to do is I literally had to take a bunch of hardback books 
and shove them underneath my mattress right here. So I'm, I'm actually sitting on, like, books right now, you know, so I can have some support because otherwise I'd be like, actually, let me remove the books and I'll show you. I'm trying to figure out a good way to do it. What, what I'm thinking, I, I, well, hold on, before I do that, I'm trying to think of a good way to do it is to, like, okay, I get a low desk that's not really super tall or whatever. I get a low desk and then maybe get a really comfy chair. So not, I want it to be different. I don't want it to be, like, a gaming chair or whatever, like you would see in most people's videos. I want it to have some, like, comfy quality to it. So if I can't have a bed in the office, then... Maybe I could get a comfy chair or something and sit down in the comfy swivel chair or something. Maybe that's an idea just to give me a little bit of back support. That'd be nice. But then part of it is also like I'm actually getting like up close to the camera like this. So I have no idea how I'm going to set up my office. I have no idea. Just switch around the mattress. Ha ha ha. No, I have. I've switched around the mattress every single like I've flipped it around. I've flipped it upside down. I've done everything. It's the same on that end. It's the same on that end. But let me uh, let me remove the books from here, and I will show you. Okay. So this is this is a book I have. Just this, this is just a hardback book on the Civil War because I love studying American history. We're living through it right now. And this is just another book on the battles of the Civil War. I love studying history, hence why I'm using Civil War books. They're their hardcover books. And this is uh, just a book on the medieval world. Alright, so that's all the books I have there. Now watch this shit. <laughs> um, that, that goes, that's a dip. That is a butt crevice if there ever was one. Holy crap. That's like a spring. De a, a couple springs were definitely not, are not working right now, right? Yeah, there's a dip. That looks more comfy. Well, it's more comfy, but getting up close to the camera, see, there's no support here. Shove the books underneath, and I can actually sit on the very edge of my bed and kind of kneel into the camera. There has to be a swivel chair. Oh, it's going to be a swivel chair. Absolutely. Going to be a swivel chair. All right, let me put these books back. Ugh. It's literally two books and then one book on top of the other books. And then you kind of get this. There we go. Then I'm kind of like sitting on like hardback books right now. Dang, boo, dude, just get a new bed. The thing is, I don't want to get a new bed for the house because it's like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to like, like buy a new bed and then move out. But honestly, I should. See, here's the other thing, too. <laughs> Beds are not meant to be sat on like this. If you're, like, that's what a chair is for, right? Chairs are supposed to be meant for sitting and recording videos, not beds. So, I, I would kind of be hard-pressed as, like, I go into the mattress store and I'm like, Sir, yes, I would like a mattress that's soft, but also extraordinarily firm only around the edges. Because I like to sit on the edge of my bed and make videos about One Piece, you know? But yeah, I'm looking I'm looking for houses right now. Are you going to have a housewarming stream? Uh the plan is when I do move out, the plan is to uh basically film like 5 videos in advance because anybody that uh moves, oh, did you see that? See that little fluffle thing floating in the sky there? Um don't use books, just put berry under your bed. Okay, first off, I don't want berry under my bed. That that doesn't look like it's gonna be a good. That's not gonna. That's all. That's the start of a horror movie right there. Um. Don't disrespect Barry. Yeah, no. Um. Anyway. Oh, I got a text message from my mom. Jim said to put a disposable pie pan under the fridge. Okay. I guess I'll do that. Uh, but anyway, no, yeah, so my plan is to film, like, five videos. And, uh... When I move out, like, the first day is probably gonna be the day where we pack everything up. And this is gonna be... I have no idea when this is going to happen. But throw everything out there. 
and then we uh, move, get to the new place, set up. It's going to take a few probably days to get everything set up the way I exactly I, the, the way I set up I want it to be, you know. Um, so that'll take that'll take a few days to do that. So I'm hoping to have like five day five videos in the tank, so that way I can at least uh, have that. But yeah, I mean, when I when I get to that point, I have no idea when that'll happen. But when I get to that point, then um, I'll have a, a housewarming video and like, hey guys, how you doing? New house, new office, and everything. It'll take some getting used to. Probably next year. LOL. Next. I mean, yeah. Oh no, I want to. I want to move around the area. I don't want to. I don't want to live like far away from everybody because everybody I kind of know is here you know does everyone just happen to have disposable pie pans I I honestly don't know if we have any because I, I make a mean uh, pecan pie uh, I make a pretty damn good pecan pie but um, I don't think we have any on standby right now we have pie tins, but they're not like disposable. I'll find something. I'll 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 put something under there. Pecan. What's a pecan pie? Pretty sure it's pronounced pecan or pecan, whichever. Pecan, pecan. Yeah, there's a large city. It's Pittsburgh. It's about two hours away, but that's kind of far from everyone where I live. Like everyone where everybody that I know and I hang out with is probably within like, like the furthest one is probably like only like forty minutes away. Do you have an iPhone or a Samsung? I have a Samsung S7. Though this thing has also been giving me problems lately because it's been having this bad habit of I'll be out for a walk and it'll just like turn on in the middle of my pocket. It'll, it'll turn on and then it'll just be start like butt dialing people. And every time that happens, I'm like waiting for it to be like, Oh shit. I'm looking at my camera. I'm looking at my phone. Like it ends up calling somebody like the, the awkward moment. Cause this actually happened before it ended up calling someone, uh, that I hadn't talked to in like years and that's an awkward moment when you get a call from someone you haven't heard of in like five years and then all you hear is just <laughs> you know Americans say arching niche and what's the other word unveiling wrong all right, well, did I get any of those words wrong? If I say arcing, I wouldn't say arcing. I'd say arching. Arching, niche, and unveiling. That's how I would pronounce those words. I don't know if any of those are correct or not, though. Butt dialing is a good way to make new friends. Yesterday, when I was going to get the mail, I was coming back, and it was butt dialing, and I looked at my number. No it, it just butt dialed, like, a random number. Like, it butt dialed, like, 200200222002. And it was just like, a, doo -doo -doo, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please dial the number and try again. So it was just that. But I'm waiting for it to be like, somehow my phone goes to my Twitter page and somehow just tweets out like like a bunch of random numbers or a bunch of random letters and stuff. Like I, I, I tweet out like, um, hold on. Text. Where do you put all the fan mail drawings you get? Uh, the fan mail, there is a folder I have downstairs in the studio that kind of has all of that stuff in it. Yeah. Especially when people send me the really delicate artworks, like the ones that are, like, framed or that are, like, really, like, you know, there's ones that are just like like on printer paper or stuff, and I just usually leave those in the envelopes. But then I get ones that like like Vinral Grave sent me, and then like actual prints. There was another one that someone sent me that was like a huge like a uh, portrait of myself. So I make sure to get those framed, and like either if I can't get them framed, just keep them in a folder and like kind of keep them somewhere flat. Title? Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, something like this. 
So, if you you know, if you ever see a tweet from me, if you ever see a tweet from me that's something like this, don't don't think like uh, it's not like a code or something. I'm not trying to like do a cipher because sometimes I'll do that too. I'll tweet out like a random cipher, you know, like okay, here you go, try to figure that out. Like no, it's just it's just I my phone pocket dialed the Twitter title. How much art can you actually have, though? I have a lot of artwork, dude. I have a lot of art. Like, just from, uh... Yeah, Vinral Graves' artwork is amazing. But just from the stuff I had downstairs, I was kind of looking through everything last night. Um, just in my studio alone, I probably have, like, at least 30 prints of stuff. And that's not including everything that I have in, like, the folders and the envelopes. Because sometimes people just send me, they just, like, take out, like, some notebook paper and just draw me a quick sketch. And I keep all that stuff. I don't throw any of that stuff away, obviously. It's fan mail. I would love to have a moment where I could, like, I need to, when I get my own place, I need to have, like, a file cabinet or some kind of cabinet where I can, like, properly store this shit, you know? You know, because I don't have room for it here. There's no player. I mean, like, my room is already kind of, like, filled to capacity. I don't even know where I would put, like, a file box or whatever. Um, but I need to have, like, a place to kind of keep all that organized, you know? Is teching a hoarder? Uh, to the untrained eye. <laughs> to the untrained eye. Like, I can imagine, like, when I am moving out and, uh, like, people are, like, helping me move shit out of this house into my new place. Um, I can imagine they would look at all my anime stuff and they'd be like, this kid, you know, he just hoards all this anime stuff. Like, you don't understand. Most of this stuff gets sent to me. He's like, yeah, okay, sure, buddy. I go to conventions, yeah. I hope to go to some more of them after all this is over. Next year, maybe we'll go. Maybe I'll go to Anime Expo in July of 2021. Yeah, I love how everybody is just kind of like everyone. Everyone just kind of gave up on 2020. Let's just let's just focus on making plans in 2021. Mikasa. No, I've never really played any of the Tekken games. Not really. I've uh, I've played like once at a at like a friend's house, and I think when I was hanging out once at like um, my school used to have these things where they would have like a not a field day. Field day is what we called it when we were like in elementary school, but we had like a, a like a recreational day, a day where you came to school and they had class for like an hour, but then after that they had like different events set up, like you could watch a movie or they had a dance or you could play dodgeball or you could. There was a video game room set up where kids would bring in their consoles and have all the TVs on. And I think there was a day where they had Tekken, and I played one of those, but I don't remember. I never actually played uh, Tekken myself in, like, a meaningful way. One word, describe your life. Ice tea. It's a word. Hyphen. Field day. I remember field day. Field day was fun. You go to school and they have the bounce house out in the recess courtyard. That was fun. Yeah, I don't know if your schools ever did that, but my school did that. What's the most American thing I ever do? Probably eating deep fried Oreos at the county fair. Because I've, I've, uh, I've never fired a gun in my life. I fired a crossbow. But that's not really American. That's that's more British. Um, you got to fire a gun. You know, it's America. Woo. So, um, yeah, I'll just go with eating really, really bad food that'll probably contribute to, uh, you know, the downfall of my health in my later years. But I am I am trying to, you know, as of as of lately, I've been kind of watching what I'm eating a lot more. Like this this iced tea I drink has a lot of sugar in it. So, I'm like, all right. Like, a bottle and a half of this stuff is, like, all of your daily allotment of sugar. There's less sugar in this than, like, a soda. Because, like, soda has, like, an ungodly amount of sugar in it. Um, but still, it, it's a lot of sugar. So, um, I don't really eat sweets all that much. Like, I had I had a, 
I had a chocolate bar the other day, like one little piece of like a chocolate bar. But even then, I'm just like, okay, I can't have a lot more sugar than that. I'm really careful with that. No, I don't. I don't have any health problems. I'm just saying, like in general, like there's a lot of there's Americans eat a lot of fast food, and uh, you know, heart disease is the number one killer in the country. So. Why do you drink so much iced tea? Uh, the short answer, I'm fucking addicted to it. Like, I don't, I don't know any other way to explain it. Like, I'm addicted to the damn stuff, you know? If I don't, uh, if I don't drink it, um, if I go days without drinking iced tea, not even days, if I go, if I went, like, one day without drinking it, I would probably start to feel, like, really, I would get headaches, I would feel really irritable. Uh, now that might, that might just be the sugar, so it could be maybe anything. You know, it could be like, okay, I don't have to drink iced tea. It can be soda or whatever. Anything as long as I get a certain amount of sugar in there. But, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. If I, um, if I don't get iced tea. I I've been drinking a lot more water as of late as well. But I tried to... I tried to quit tea and I tried to, um... I tried to quit, uh... I tried to switch to diet. Diet iced tea. I can't drink that shit. I can't drink diet iced tea. The sugar and the caffeine. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> Lemon iced tea is fine. Yeah, just ignore the um, 33 grams of sugar that exist in this. Yeah, just ignore that. But it's lemon and it's water. It's tea. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Simply drink water, dude. Hey, listen. I used to drink nothing but iced tea period. Yesterday, I think I went through three bottles of water, so I'll call that a win. I'm calling this a better, I'm better at where I'm at then than now. I mean, now than then. Just drink booze like the rest of us. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I have no real desire to drink or to get high or anything like that. I just never really, I don't know. I'm not against it, like, if you want to, like, in a safe, in a, in a safe environment, obviously, not, like, drinking and driving or anything. I actually knew a guy that, I actually know two people that died because of that. Um, but, uh, obviously, like, if you want to get drunk, fine. I'm not going to be like, it's the devil's juice! I'm not, I'm not doing that, but, and I just have no real desire to do it. Isn't that, like, diabetes? Hence why, literally, I'm like, I drink that, and even with this, I'm kind of, like, what I also did on top of drinking more water is I used to fill these bottles up all the way and then drink them. Now I only, like, fill it up to about here. And then I'm like, all right, let's sip on that for a while to see how long you can get. And then after that goes, I fill it up again, fill it up again. Try not to fill up the whole damn bottle. You know what I mean? So I've been trying. That's, that's been about a year and a half that I've been kind of cutting back on, you know, the way I drink it and I drink more water. And, um, you know, at, at least I'm not, because I had a moment last year where I realized, like, Okay, Matt, all I drank today was iced tea. Yes. What about yesterday? Nothing but iced tea. The day before that, nothing but iced tea. The day before that, nothing but iced tea. I didn't realize, like, well, he should. I haven't had a drink of anything other than iced tea in, like, a week or so. Should probably, probably dial that back a bit, you know? And so I did. This is a brand of iced tea called Gallikers. G-A-L-L-I-K-E-R-S. Apostrophe S, I should say. It's like a local... Everyone always thinks it's either... The two things I hear a lot is it's either chocolate milk or it's um, coffee creamer. It's it's neither, but yeah. Kidney stone, yeah, that's another thing too. My dad has those. He's had like three of those and I'm like, shit, that's probably going to happen to me at some point. But, I mean, hey man. I like the tea too damn much. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I, I don't. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm still healthy. Hopefully, I'm still doing what I love, which is this. But I, I don't really plan ahead that many years. Hopefully, living in a nice house that I bought and having my own setup and everything and having like a nice nice studio space where I can do like a podcast or something. That'd be cool. But yeah, for every chapter today. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little better now. Um... My stomach doesn't hurt as much. I'm actually kind of feeling kind of hungry. So I think I'm going to end it there. I've been going for about an hour and a half. That's like a normal length for a stream. So I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go take this good girl for a walk. And uh, then I'm going to get on a reverie. 
uh, chapter review today. So I got to kind of like turn on the turn on the excitement a little bit and do the Reverie chapter. But I'm glad I, I I'm glad I did this. Thanks guys for you know listening and just talking about some stuff. I'll probably put this up on the vlog channel. I'll I'll like take it down after this and it'll go up later. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, mirror. You will see yourself in a mirror in 10 years. Hey, you don't know, man. Mirrors might be replaced with, like, something else in 10 years. Who knows? You, you can't see the future. Um, but yeah, uh, everybody stay safe, especially if you're living in an area where these protests are occurring. Because uh, I have, you know, nobody knows really what's going to happen, what the full extent of this is going to be. Um, you know... Um, rest in peace, George Floyd. And I'm hoping that, like, we, the, the cop that was, you know, the one that actually killed him, he's going to be tried and convicted. But hopefully this will improve things in the future. I'm hoping. Even if it's, like, the first step, something to work with, I hope. Um, and I, 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 also, I also don't want people to get, like, I just don't want people to die and suffer. And I want everybody to be equal. You know, it's like... But that's not the world where we get, so we just gotta work hard for it, and hopefully it'll, hopefully something will happen. Mm. All right. Well, anyway, have have a good day, everybody. I'm gonna go film the Reverie video. Thanks for watching. Uh, signing out. Have a good day, or an evening, or wherever you're at in the world. Stay safe.